Are there it's, any? I know you haven't watched the tape of this game, but are there any X's and O's, just fundamentals that stand out for, for back-to-back 200-yard rushing games? I mean, the, like run defense in general. Um, I think you you never want to see uh, you know another team run the ball on you, and that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a staple of being a good run defense. I mean, a good defense in general is you have to stop the run. So it's unfortunate when it happens, but you got to look at it and figure out you know why is that happening. Make the corrections and move on. Um, what I think you don't do is try to attribute it to all these other factors that are not the case. It's if if you don't play sound and fundamental football, a team can can, can give you 200. I've been a part of this defense when, you know, for two seasons they didn't get 100 yards rushing, and so I've been on the top when it was up. I've been on the part of it when it's down. And what I've learned is it doesn't change. It's your process that's most important. Um, and you know, it's unfortunate when you don't get the results you want. But like I say, I say it all the time, football is the greatest teacher of life. And, you know, I don't know if people believe me when I tell you that, but just anybody examine your life. Sometimes you do everything right and you get a bad result. What are you going to do? How are you going to respond? And for me, I look at them as opportunities because I was always focused on the process. I wasn't focused on the result. And when I was up 10, I went right back to the drawing board. So now when I'm down 10, I go right back to the drawing board. And that, is, that, that has always served me well. And, and, and this team has always been resilient through all different types of adversity, whether it's been injuries, whether it's been games not going our way, whether it's been poor performances, whether it's been bad calls. This team has always been re resilient. And it's reflective of our city. And so um, I wouldn't expect that to change. So right, people will sometimes attribute the wrong things. Obviously, Dennis Allen is a big target of that right now. What, what mm -hmm. should his role be in trying to get out of this part? Right? Uh, I don't understand what, what the question is. Like, I mean, if people are saying this is on the coach, you know, five game losing streak is on the coach, two, you know, poor performances are on the coach. I can't speak to what people's sure. response are. Because I, I can't. I mean, I think if you look at people for people's opinion, it's going to be opinion about everything. It could be a pain about this, it could be a pain about that, it could be a pain, a pain about this person. I think it will be a pain about this thing. And so what were you going to do, give a response to every one of them? All I can do is dictate my response. And, and my response has always been focus on the process, not the results. It will always take care of itself. Are you, always. Sorry. You were here in 21, this is the last time you had a five-game losing streak. Does this feel similar? It feels like you know quarterback injuries then too. And how did you kind of fight back at that point if you can recall? Yeah, honestly, like if you're talking about 21, I can't remember uh, specifically how 21 played out except for our team was resilient. And like I said, I, I said that earlier, um, we faced adversity before. And so I, I was here for that, and I know that our team finished strong um, when maybe a lot of people thought we would. And so I think that's just reflective of, of the character of this organization is we're always going to be resilient. Like at the end of the game, you're going to always see us fight no matter what the scoreboard is. Um, and I think that's reflective of the players in the locker room. I think it's reflective of the coaches. Um, and, you know, nobody likes a bad result. Nobody. I don't think a person that would look at and not get the results they wanted and be like, who right? Nobody, not one human being. And I think, especially in sports, athletes want to win. Coaches want to win. But winning is hard. It's very hard to do. But how are you going to respond when you don't get the results you want? Are you going to mope? Are you going to blame somebody else? Are you going to let other people's opinion dictate how you respond? No, you can't. You can't. You have to trust your process. You have to trust the people that were with you. You have to stay loyal. You have to stay with the people in the boat. Um, because you win together, you lose together. And as long as you can stay united and make it through the other side of the storm, because one thing about storms, they're going to always pass. Just like the storm passed in 2021 or any other time, they always pass. And what you're going to look back on is going to be, how did I handle myself when I was in that storm? And I think that's what I want to be proud of myself. That's what I want to be proud of my teammates. That's what I want to be proud of the organization, that we respond the right way when we're in adversity. And we're being challenged. Uh, this isn't comfortable for anybody. Um, anybody that's attached with being an organization, part of the organization, our fans, our fans are unbelievable. It's not comfortable. It's not comfortable for nobody. Um, but we're going through it. And what are we going to do? We're just going to keep taking steps forward. Um, we're going to control what we control. We're going to trust our process. We're going to rinse, wash, repeat. Figure out how to figure out how to fix what needs to change so that we can find a way to, to 
pull ourselves out of this hole, one step at a time. What, what's your reaction to what Richard Sherman said tonight? I do not know what Richard Sherman said. He said, um, seems like the Saints are team playing like they want to get their coach fired. I don't, I, 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 I don't know what context he said that in, mm -hmm. so I don't, I, I, I can't have a proper um, response to that statement about, right talking now. About the effort. talking about effort, um, I think tackling, um, I don't have a whole quote. It was, yeah, it was on the broadcast, you know, it's been creating a lot of... They don't, yeah. Instead, they don't want to tackle, they don't want to make plays, they're good players, I don't understand why they're yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't speak to what somebody else's comments or opinion of, of, you know, what's happening is. I can't, I can't. I think when when you have tough times, everybody's looking for answers, and you can be a part of the problem or you can be a part of the solution. And 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 me, what I'm always trying to do is be part of the solution. So I don't think I would get any anything from responding to somebody who had a negative comment about uh, effort. I think I've always uh, tried to make sure I was giving maximum effort. I've always tried to uh, lead by example and giving maximum effort. And I believe our teammates are giving maximum effort. Uh, my teammates are giving maximum effort. So uh, I think that would only be my response to this. I appreciate y'all guys. Y'all be blessed.